We have indeed. We've got a massive herd of elephants. Guys, hello, 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 relax. Now, I wonder if those strange noises we weren't hearing when we were with the rollers were from the elephants. There are lots of bulls here. Lots of troublemakers. Hello, girl. It's okay. And I wonder if they haven't been annoying the females. I'm just going to... Which way do you want to go? I'm going to roll forward. Sorry, Seb. just want to give this one car that was rumbling. A bit of panic. Oh, you're right. Did you almost fall out the car? That would have been terrible. Oh, the oh sorry, yes, the camera almost fell off of the tripod. That but luckily, crisis averted. Well done, Seb. Ninja reflexes. Something has definitely upset these Ellies. You can see they're not happy. And the matriarch of this herd, she's quite a big car. She seems to be quite stressed as well. It's this one just walking behind us. You can see she's, we show her, she's going to disappear, but she's secreting liquid from her temporal gland. She was rumbling quite loudly. She's telling the herd to keep moving. So once the guests are out of the lodge at Chitwa, we're going to go and in investigate around there because I suspect either it was the elephant bulls that have upset this breeding herd like this, or there's something else going on down at the dam that we just don't know about. Now, even though elephants are the real kings of the jungle, or the king of the savannah bush, it's not the lions, because size really does matter out here. Something like lions, leopards, wild dogs, even hyenas to an extent, could upset a breeding herd. There are lots of young calves in and amongst this herd too, and they are definitely vulnerable to predation, though you have to be quite brave to want to challenge uh, these these big cows and even the young bulls will get involved as well if there's any trouble. Now unfortunately they have gone onto Torchwood so we're just going to have to view them from a distance but maybe there's an, a second wind coming from a Chitwa Dam but luckily for us one cow has stopped and you might be able to see a bit of dust. She's having a sand bath at the moment. She's found herself a nice spot. They must have had a drink of water. Didn't look like they were splashing around in it though. I didn't actually see any water on their bodies at all. They definitely ran across. Now that wasn't even the first group. There was another group of elephants too, just before that, but unfortunately it was too close to the Mulwanina and there's gremlins in there, so we can't... Uh, we can't, unfortunately, uh, get signal down that point. And off they go. But I'd still like to go and investigate around these areas and see what's actually happened. But 